Thing after destruction, members at the when First United Methodist Church gathered to celebrate Easter. This church was destroyed in the tornado. Recently, they had a parking lot service. Well, Alejandra Hernandez is in the studio. And Alejandra, was that service a little different this day? Yeah, of course, it was a little bit different. It was a wonderful service. And so many people that I saw last week also attended this week. Now, I was told that if it came down to it, the church could have had the service in the parking lot again. But thanks to the outpouring of support, this, this place now has a new place to call home just for a little bit and celebrate Easter together. Members of First United Methodist Church gathered to celebrate Easter Sunday. We know that we won't be able to worship in our sanctuary building as we've been used to, but it is a good morning because we are still able to worship. This year was a little different. They worshiped in a different space after a loss so great, still fresh on the mind for some. It seems that there's a new level of reality and the new level it sticks in every day together in a temporary home. Still have my moments when I get really sad about losing the church, but I'm happy that we're here and can be together. The community gave the church a few options for a church home while they rebuild what is left. And we have so many people that come that we haven't seen in a while, and we're just thankful to have a place to meet with them and, and share this wonderful Sunday. But although the congregation is in a different space, they always knew they would be together for Easter Sunday. There was never a question that we would not meet, um, and it, it's amazing the way everything has just fallen into place. The service gave a message about the new beginning for the church, the importance of being together, a symbolic message of a rebirth for the church on Easter Sunday. We are going to carry forward, and just as that tomb was empty, that building across the, uh, down the street is empty. We've moved on to this, and new life will come forth from it. Now there is a way to help the church rebuild. That information will be on our website on kait.com. Live in the studio, Alejandra Hernandez, Region 8 News.